Don't wait for tomorrow. Follow your heart. I'm very excited for you to check out my new single, Lay in Your Arms, released from Syrup Music. Hope you guys enjoy it. Follow your heart. Well, it's that feeling of complete happiness um, when you lie in the person who's your person in, in their arms. So that's what lay in your arms means to me in terms of the meaning. In terms of the song, uh, I wrote it with um, a lot of love and passion. Uh, the music is, is extremely uh, intricate. I've included piano. Well, essentially, I, I actually uh, created the whole musical um, uh, foundation from the piano. So if you actually listen to the track more carefully, it has a beautiful piano part. And that's how I uh, initially started creating the record. Uh, and then, of course, I added all the other elements that you hear, including violins, which I was very excited about because I studied film scoring. So having the opportunity to uh, experiment and bring in some of my more classical background was uh, really important to me. So it's an important record for me, musically speaking, as well. Follow your heart. If I'm going to be completely honest, of course, a song like this, uh, both lyrically and musically, when it's so emotional, uh, as well as dynamic, of course it's derived from real life situations. Uh, it was more about me remembering certain things or imagining certain things in my mind. Uh, if, if I can put it in a certain way, it was, also, it was almost like I was kind of dreaming about an ideal situation in my mind. Uh, so that's how it uh, kind of came about with regards to writing it and my inspiration. Follow your heart. Before I even started working on the actual song Lay in Your Arms, I really wanted to work on a progressive uh, house record, but in, in the older sense. Um, I remember in the 90s to early 2000s, that kind of progressive, super melodic, emotional, but also dynamic and driving um, uh, style with regards to house music was very popular. And I always loved that because it combined every single element that I personally love in songs and in music. Uh, the beat, the, um, the harmony, the melody, the, the lyrical content. So I really wanted to uh, produce a record that was like that. So I actually started experimenting, just instrumentally speaking. And then of course, uh, the actual top line came about and that inspired me highly. And I basically kind of built the whole record, both listening to the top line and also bringing in certain things that I, uh, I wanted to do even before this, the actual song. So that's how that happened. Follow your heart. Passionate, um, deep, driving, and the fourth word is always the hardest because it has to be a good one. The fourth word would probably be vulnerable. That's the fourth word.